Hey guys, uh, here for a bit of a um, homebrew review. Um, bit of a funny angle today because I've got the camera down there and I'm sort of up here. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so we've got um, Zane Maxwell's Wild Brown Ale. It said best to open after August as it will need some age. And it's July. Sorry. I thought I'd waited long enough. I mean, I received it months and months and months and months, months ago. So, um, <laughs> a bit of a sneaky there. So, um, <clears throat> original gravity is 1080 and final gravity is 1015. And he says it's 8.5%. So, cool, man. Awesome. Good bottle, these. Um, I'll keep that and I'll use it later on. So, here it is here. I don't know if you'll get much of the light coming through there, but, oh there you go, you can kind of tell, um, it definitely does have like a, a, a bit of a brown hue to it, um, but I'd say uh, it's, it's, it's actually very red, I'm saying that, and extremely clear, a very, very extremely clear beer, um, as we all know, if you leave a beer long enough, uh, and in the fridge, which I did, it's gonna settle out. I mean, that's just what happens. But um, yeah, dude, there it is. Uh, there's no head on it, uh, which is fine, whatever, not a problem. Um, it had good carbonation when I opened it. It wasn't too much. Um, like it didn't sound like it was gonna be a bottle bomb or anything. It was just, you know, perfect. Um, but yeah, no, it's looking like a good beer. Bit of a bit of a storm in there. Um, let's check out the aroma. Yeah, this, this is cool. Wild, wild brown. Ooh. Uh, instantly, I'm getting this clove sort of Belgian yeast character. And just a real touch of like. Just a real touch of like lollies. Um, I don't know what lollies, just it reminds me of lollies. <laughs> maybe a sweetness, maybe that's it. Um, oh, the kids are having fun out there. <clears throat> that's alright, someone's watching them. So, I'm not getting any uh, maltiness or hoppiness from the beer. It's... um. It's quite, it's quite plain, like it's, um, but it's clean, it's clean. Hmm, nice. It just, to, to me, it just reminds me of like a, a, a kind of like a, um, like a double, a Belgian double. It's just got that aroma and um, darker sort of colour to it. Oh, I'm going to go in for a taste. Cheers, guys. Sorry to mess you around. I think that's aged quite well. Um, wow. Um, it's it's very clean. Um, it it really just like it reeks of of um Belgian beer. Like it just the flavors you you're getting clove, and almost like a bubble gum thing. Um, maybe that's what I was detecting before with the the lollies. Um, yes, yeah, kind of sweet. Um. I guess it's malt forward. Yeah, it's, it's definitely malty slash sweet um, at the front. There's only just enough bitterness to cut it at the end. It's not, it's not balanced equally. It's it's sort of sweeter than than bitter. But that's all right because that's. I mean, if we were going for a Belgian double here, that's that's what you'd expect. That's quite cool. I don't get a whole a whole lot else in there, um, but it's it's got this sort of sort of medium body to it, um, and it's it's just clean like 
yeah at the end it just just trails off and you're just sort of ready for the next sip so um that is pretty cool so wild brown ale um zane please uh, remind me um what your brewing process was for this and what your fermentation process was for this just curious to have a bit of a recap on it and um for everyone else who might have seen the video too um cheers mate that was a goodie nice one